Hi guys, uh, so it's Rachel here from Assist Trust. Um, I thought I'd do a little video for you today about my houseplants that I have at home. Um, I love houseplants and I'm sure some of you have got some at home. Um, they're really lovely to have around the house because they improve the air quality in your home. So they make it nicer for you to breathe. Um, and they look really lovely and they add a bit of colour. Um, so I'm going to talk to you today about my spider plant because it's exciting things at the moment because my spider plant has lots of spider babies, um, which sounds really awful, but actually it's not what you think. So I'm going to show you my spider plant and then I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with these babies. Okay, here we go. So here is my spider plant. As you can see, it is a bit of a monster. So it's very big. Um, it lives on my windowsill because it loves daylight um, and it likes to be somewhere where it can get a lot of that. Um, when I first got my spider plant, it was very small, like one of these. They're only little babies. Um, but over time, I've planted it into pots and every time it gets too big for a plot, pot, I replant it. And now we're in a, quite a big pot, as you can see, and it's quite a big plant. Um, so I said about spider babies, so these are all of these that are coming off of my spider plant. So they're not actual spiders, in case any of you were a bit worried about that. Um, but my plant has got lots of these, so it's got lots of baby spiders, spider plants growing off of it. As you can see, it has flowers, and these flowers will turn into more of these. So what we're going to do today is take one of these spider plants and I'm going to show you what you need to do if you want to grow more. Okay, so I talked earlier about how we can take one of these baby plants and turn it into our own plant on its own. So I'm just going to show you on the plants where they grow all these little baby ones. You can see those little bumps there. They're roots, they're new roots. So actually all I need to do to grow a new plant is I'm just going to cut off here where it's grown. So that is a plant all on its own. And then I'm going to take some soil and plant it in some soil and that should grow by itself. So as you can see, I've got my baby spider plant here um, and I've got a small pot here, which I've just been outside so you can see, I've put some soil in there. Um, and I've also put some water in with it so that it's nice and damp. So you just get a small pot about that big, put some soil in, and then all you need to do is make a hole in it with your finger here. Take your spider plant with its roots, because it's roots there, and you're just gonna stick that into the hole you've made in your soil and squeeze the soil around it just so that it's in there nice and firm. And there you go, there you have it, another plant. And then you can just grow that one yourself or you can give it to someone for a present. Hey guys, I hope you've enjoyed learning about my spider plant um, and how I can make more from the babies. Um, I'll probably plant quite a few of them this year. So if you've got any at home and they're doing the same thing, you can always give it a go yourself. All right, take care, bye. 